Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of my Minecraft single player let's play series. How is everyone doing? I hope you are all doing amazing. First of all, I want to say a massive thank you to everyone who has been supporting this channel. I've been having a blast reading through your comments and suggestions. And I hope you will keep it up. And in the last episode, we tackled an ocean monument. And from there, I got a few sponges. Uh, about a stack to be precise and uh, I got about eight I believe eight gold blocks yes so that was pretty amazing and uh, after that I decided to tame a horse you know we don't have a horse tamed we did not have a horse so I decided to tame it and this horse is amazing it's not the fastest though but it does the it does the job okay so for today uh, i was thinking i was thinking uh you know after the last episode sunade was started uh you know was having an existential crisis uh i i literally you know named her for the ocean monument fight and uh, after the fight was done after i defeated elter guardians she was questioning her existence and she didn't have any goal for her life uh, so she was getting depressed so what i thought to make her happy is you know i introduced her to a few friends like the trader llamas which i definitely did not kidnap from the wandering trader by killing him these are these are these are all a gift from the wandering trader okay and then this is this is mr pig a delinquent pig it has been loitering around in this area without any purpose so i decided to tie it up to a fence and uh, you know give it a purpose so i decided you know after since sunade's work is done i she should retire in peace and i should give her a forever home and uh, so she will also be living with her friends in her forever home and for that we'll be building them an amazing barn and yeah i mean those who are subscribed to the channel those who have been following my channel they know that i i recently built this barn in a tutorial in my channel so if you want to check that out please uh check it out the link will be in the screen on the top part of the screen so and it will also be you know added in the description if you want to check it out uh, yes so that will be done in later but before that I want to show you around the base a little bit more let's take our trusty mr. horse by the way you know what's coming since I showed you a lot of animals except for Sunade others are not named so I want in the comments uh, from you guys to name first our horse these two llamas and yes you this pig yeah yeah look at me why are you getting, going crazy yes you'll be named don't worry so go right in the comments provide amazing amazing name suggestions yeah i, I also build this f collection chamber i added some chickens oh it's it was a lucky lucky shot welcome to the world okay all right, so let's let me show you the progress around the base area a little bit, and then we will start building the barn. And there we go. This is our mining area on the outside. Still not done. I started doing texture variations over here with the coarse dirt and some spruce planks. I added a crane. Yes, a little bit of flex. On the aesthetics with the diamond ores and yeah on the outside these are the changes I have made and I'm gonna add more details of course but this is gonna take a lot of time so this will be a work in progress however on the inside I can call it oh, almost complete so let me park mr. horsey over here okay so as you can already see I have added support beams and you know some extra details and features over here 
So a little bit of a wheelbarrow action over here. And then we go down. We have a lot more greenery over here, more textures. And one thing that I added are these minecarts that are going around in circles. But you know, it gives you the feeling that they are carrying uh, you know, resources from the mines to different parts of the mining area. This, these sort of things make the, uh, you know, the area more alive, in my opinion. Then we can go down, made a natural stair to this area, which is our kind of like, you know, resting station in case we do mine overnight and we need a place to set our spawn. This can be the area. After that, we have more, you know, texture variations. I still did not mess around with the height of the cave. It is still the natural height, uh, the one that the one that generated in the, at the beginning. And then we have more, you know, animated minecarts or kind of like animation to make the place more alive, to show that the, you know, work has been done in the background. Uh, I have lit up the place quite well so that no bad guys can spawn and I hope this is pretty safe and then it goes down from here and there is kind of like a bridge where there is another minecart which is going round and round and after that we have the final level where we have our workstation with furnaces and we also have a little bit of water feature I mean why not and then we have, you know, the final staircase leading down to our strip mining area. And this area is not done. So, yeah. I hope uh, you guys like the transformation of the cave. I, I like it. And, uh, you know, if you intend to make your mining area in a natural cave like this, in your own world, I hope you can get some inspiration from this one. I'm still not sure about how to tie up the, you know, the mining area with the base. Let's see, if you have any suggestion, you can, you can of course write in the comments, uh, comments area. Oh, one more thing. Uh, I have been, I've been to the nether in the nether fortress for some blaze rods. And uh, since I was there, I thought why not, you know farm wither skulls wither skeleton skulls and yes i got one and two two wither skeleton skulls and i i need three for the beacon but i'm in no rush to get the beacon right now i'm having fun taking things slow and steady let's start a time lapse i will see you after the build is done enjoy Thank you. 
so guys we're back and uh, I'm not gonna lie this build took a long long time and I might have gotten carried away so I'm just taking a relaxing hot bath we are going to take a look at the barn and uh, let me get dressed first yeah I have the diamond horse armor for our horse there is a sad news though in the process of building I lost my diamond hoe and I have been working with iron, an iron hoe without any enchants so first thing let's get a hoe and enchant it I have 39 levels I believe I can get a decent enchant by the way I mined out the remaining ores that I showed on camera the other day from the mine and brought them over here so I have about 55 diamond ores I don't know how much how many diamond uh, I'll get after fortuning that but yeah that's that let's see if I can get a stick and uh, craft the bow Alright, so after that, let me let me go to the enchanting setup and let's see if I can get some good enchants on this one. If not, I will definitely reroll the enchants and maybe use books. So efficiency three. Uh, that's not that's not very welcome. Let's see unbreaking efficiency three uh, let's let's do another try let's see let's reroll this one and let's do another one I have the level so again efficiency three is it rigged let's do unbreaking again reroll this one and this is how I do the enchants okay this is good efficiency four and uh, Unbreaking. I wish I could have gotten silk touch on it, but I think I have silk touch not here inside my starter base. All right, I'll put silk touch later on. But the second task that I have is to name our trident. So in the last episode, I asked for name suggestions for uh, the trident and. You guys came up with some amazing name suggestions. There were lots of suggestions for the trident's name, but out of all of them, I decided to pick this one, Cerberus. This name suggestion came from our friend Shafayat. So thank you very much Shafayat for the name suggestion. I love it. There we go. Let's go to the burn house area. Guys, I think you might be surprised by the way once you see it let me know in the comments what do you think about the build and there we have the barn in all its glory I think it looks quite good I mean the barn itself is good I in it's one of my favorite and then we have a lot of things on this side I'll, I'll come back to that but I also decided to add a vineyard and I love it this side was look, looking quite empty so I thought of quite a few things maybe a ranch over here for the cattle or the horses but later I decided to add a vineyard and I've been wanting to add this for a long long time and I think this looks very nice and as for our you know automatic egg collector system over there that was already there I decided to you know change that into a chicken coop and we have yeah a chicken coop nothing fancy that's a tiny chicken coop and we have the same thing the egg collection system over there let me show you on the inside yeah we have some chickens hanging around this area 
and under these carpets we have hoppers which lead to this barrel and they are these chickens are laying the eggs and the hoppers are collecting the eggs this is amazing i like it on the inside however i have yes the llamas it's the horse the pig and sonade and i also found another llama over here so like i said before please provide the name suggestions for these animals and over here last but not the least let me put this on our horse and it's gonna be op nice so that would be it for this episode i think it was quite a long episode at least from my side i had to work for a long time to get this done and uh, if you like the episode please leave a like and if you have not subscribed consider subscribing i will see you in the next episode and again thank you everyone for watching and stay well and stay safe goodbye